I'm here with my friend Glenn Pemberton today. Glenn is uh, an Old Testament professor at Abilene Christian University and is the author of a fantastic new book called Hurting with God, a book that's on the Psalms of Lament. Glenn, thanks so much. Thank you. Um, you come at this not only as uh, an Old Testament professor, but you come at it as a person who's walked the journey of, of lament yourself. Uh, yes. Um, to one degree or another, I guess over the past 10, 15 years, a, a little bit anyway, um, to start. House fire 10, 15 years ago. At the time, that seems like an awful thing. It Even, takes takes a year to get over. The worst thing that will yeah, ever happen. Uh, that's right. And then uh, began to lose lose some health over the past five years, um, starting with a very simple injury that ended up being some kind of neurological disorder. But as a result, I live uh, with chronic pain that's pretty much constant. Um, and uh, along with that, in the past few years, I went through a divorce. So dealing with pain, both physical, psychological, spiritual. Yeah. Um, and those, those strands don't go in different directions. No, they, they, they wind together. Yeah. I, I remember a period of time that uh, it was just an amazing thing to see you even show up for class because it was so obvious that you were, you were just in deep pain. It was hard. Um, and, and one of the, the things that I talk about in the book is you would think it wouldn't be this way, but one of the most difficult things for people in pain, at least for me to do, was to show up for church. Because, oddly enough, uh, there was no way to express that pain mm -hmm. with God in that context, or most often there was not. Because most of us want to be there and be excited. Right, and, right. And in fact, in the book, it's, it's an interesting chapter where you say that about 40% of the Psalms in the Psalter, in the book of Psalms, are lament Psalms. Yes. Compared to... If you compare apples to apples, it's about 4% of our hymnals. And we look at several hymnals, but 4% in our hymnals to 40% in the book of Psalms is the, it's and, overwhelming. And, and that's not even to say we're singing those 4%. No, it's no. just that they're in there. But they're in there. and. And we don't often sing them, and I think there are a lot of reasons for this, and it's not the song leader's fault, and it's not the editors of the hymnal's fault. It's a, it's a cycle. It's uh, like a snowball. It just keeps rolling. That's what people are asking for, so right. those are the songs they get put in, That's and that right. creates another And it just keeps going and keeps going, and I think it will take some deliberate effort to, to stop this and, and stop for a moment and think, wait a minute, is, is this really what the assemblies ought to be like, mm -hmm. where hurting people are expected to either ignore their pain or are expected to just go along with the status quo? Pretend. Pretend. And, and the Psalms won't do that. The Psalms won't. will not allow you to pretend. Yeah. Uh, they simply will not allow a pretend relationship with God that if there's going to be relationship with God that in the Psalms it's going to be honest, it's going to be messy, it's going to be hard words and hard conversations that are not skipped over for the sake of everything being, being just smooth. Right. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorite parts of the book is where you talk about uh, whether lament psalms come from an absence of faith mm -hmm. or not. I, uh, the lament psalms have been so much have meant so much to me, and, and I know that puzzles some people. Right. It, it feels weird to them, but but it helped me personally when you you talk about that in there that mm -hmm. that they don't come from an absence of faith. No. They come from the deepest places of faith. Uh, yeah, I think that's right, and we see lament on the lips of the most faithful people in the Bible, including Christ, mm -hmm. including the martyrs in the book of Revelation, these are people of deep faith and I think what's happening is when they go through these difficult hard times that instead of denying what's happening these people because of their faith have to talk to God about it. It has to be a part of the relationship. It can't be denied, skipped over, ignored. 
Uh, if there's going to be a relationship, then it's going to be a real relationship uh, where we can talk to each other and have the hard conversations that sometimes we'd rather not we, have. We don't want to do. Yeah. Right. At the end of the book, you give some really practical suggestions on how the church can reclaim lament yes. in its life. Can you share one yeah. with people today? Um, I think the first step is to start reading the Psalms. <laughs> Uh, but not just reading, start praying the Psalms. And I think that can start individually or corporately as a church. Just read a Psalm every Sunday. Uh, read a Psalm as prayer. And over time, what the Psalms will do is not just teach you to pray this Psalm, but the Psalms will teach an entire new language. Uh, this language of lament that then enables us to take whatever may be happening in our lives to God as well with the words that we need. And so it's a, it's kind of a grammar, if you will, a school. Of, it could get ugly for a while. It could get ugly, yeah. Because some of the Psalms are, there are what, what's Eugene Peterson's word? Yeah. <laughs> the, the psalmectomy. The psalmectomy where... We, we'd like to excise a few of them and clean it up a little well, bit. And, if we could get it down to about 120 Psalms. That's right, or, yeah. you know, And only parts of Take out of those. 137 yeah, and right, 88 you know, and a few others. Right. But when you include those, that gives voices... It gives voice to those who to are... People who are... Hanging on by their fingernails to faith. And, and trying to find a reason just to keep going. Um, and we need those words for those. Uh, Got to be some reason they were included. Absolutely. And if you haven't been there, you will be. And my gut tells me when I look out over a congregation that if we start reading a lament psalm, people will understand it. We've all been there. Yeah. Uh, and every Sunday, there are people there living that. They're living it. Right now. And they're aching for a way to communicate and to live with God through this pain instead of living this pain without God. And that's, that's an awful option. Yeah. Well, thanks so much, Glenn. Uh, the book is Hurting with God. It's being published by ACU Press. comes out about May 1st of this year. And uh, in about a month, I'll have an excerpt of the book here on the blog. But I uh, wanted just a little heads up. I've had a chance to read it. It's the best book I've ever read on, on the Psalms of Lament. And I uh, hope everybody gets a chance to look at it. Thanks, Glenn. Thank you.